Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have some ideas, and I have some really long chain. And those ideas include using that chain and this container to put some... I think I'm going to use... Yeah, is it that container? Maybe I'll try the more shallow container. Let's put some white metallic in there that I can dip my chain into and see what happens. Here's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have glasses and an edge catcher. I also have... <laughs> somebody's taking the pool cover off and it's really noisy. Alright, so I'm going to put some colors where I think that they'll look cool. That will blend well with the colors that I need to get rid of. That I can actually probably just pour right on. And I'm getting ready to, yeah, I'm getting ready to make some other colors. I got some, um, oh boy. You know what, I'm going to have to figure out what they're called. Hey, there was never any marble in there. That's really weird. Alright, that's going in the bucket. It's going to be a mucky bucket. Mucky bucket. I love this blue. I think I'm going to do the same thing with it that I just did with the other one. Oh, no. We don't want all those little things in there. I saw that. Alright, I may not be able to use up all this paint. I thought I could, but I'm not sure. And I want a different color. I will try and use that up before I'm done. That is... This is a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. This is a wonderful tool for removing paint. This is mostly... I need something easy right now. I just did, I just did a sunburst on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. I think it is anyway. And uh, it was a pain. I made a bunch of mistakes and I tried to cover them up. and It still looks okay. I'm, I haven't got over the shock yet. All right, so I have most of that paint right out of there. So if you don't like wasting paint, like I don't like wasting paint, especially because that's an art, art mind's uh, color shifting, or it's got iridescent medium added to it, whatever it is, it was expensive, believe me. Like way too. All right, so I'm gonna give myself a bunch of different things, including some black. Question is, do I want, I want some of this. Yes, I do. I want some of that minty green. The temptation is to just go ahead and um, begin by chain pulling. I want an alternative blue. Can I have one, please? Oh, maybe? That's not that different. I kind of think I want some turquoise in there. I promised myself I would just let myself have some real fun. And I want all of that paint off there. Maybe not the stuff on the handle. That's going in the bucket. I feel like I have almost enough, but I have this other purple that I wanted to use. Yes. Boy, I'm going to I'm going to hate losing that. All right. So, I've got a really neat pattern on there and I'm going to continue using my white around things. Kind of want some Prussian blue just just as a darker element as an accent color. I haven't shaken that up yet. Just sort of following along with whatever seems like a good idea. Do I want gold in there? I kind of want silver in there. Is that weird? I haven't used much silver, but I'd kind of like to see what happens to the silver I have. I have some more to mix up. And this looks like this is a great bottle to uh, be done with. Now, I, can, I have a choice at this point. I can tilt this and chain, or I could just chain. Edge catcher has sand on it. Edge catchers are just what's left of a plastic insert that was 16 by 20 inches in the front of a pack of these Artist Loft canvases. Do I... Oh, I'm being called. Okay, somebody said, when your muse calls, listen. Yeah, okay, I get it. And I'm going to make sure to try and remember to use some more of that color that I like. I have to use up. I like all my white space. I want to say I'm done. <laughs> Let it all settle. And I could because I use GAC 800 by Golden. All right. So what I'm going to do is take a chance. I am going to take this huge chain. I'm 
and see if I can cover my canvas with my gorgeous selection of colors without destroying the possibility of using them all. And if I get too close to the edge and I still have a huge puddle, I will at that point tip. I'm looking for a spot that's safe. There are no safe spots. I'm just trying to capture the paint I've got with the chain. And it's doing a pretty good job of agitating and mixing. And I can stop short, so I don't have to do everything all at once if I don't want to. And I don't want to. And I did keep myself out some white Anita's metallic so that when I get to the point when I want to dip something, I have something to dip into. Which I may want to do-ish. Soon-ish. I don't think that silver is going to serve much purpose, to tell you the truth. This is an interesting way to do this. So this is a large ball chain from a set of Florida drapes, like blinds, you know, vertical ones. I'm not sure if I used too much paint or not yet. I'm not sure what I'm doing at all, to tell you the truth, but um, I'm doing it. And I like seeing paint agitated like this. And I have a choice, you know, where I put my chain. The white isn't really staying as much. I think I could do a little bit of color and a lot of white and get away with it pretty easily. So this will be the first time, if I even go there, that I uh, just go ahead and cover canvas with paint. And I've got another canvas, and it's tempting to pull it out and dump some of this onto it, but I see that thing that does not belong. Goodbye. Thing that does not belong. So far I haven't dumped anything off of the canvas. I want to get that out of the way. I like the shapes are pretty cool. And I have smaller chain, of course, you know that. And it is hard not to annihilate some really cool stuff along the way while you're pulling chain. I see that thing. I really want to stretch this. I mean, I really don't want to stretch it, but I really do want to stretch it. Oop. Okay, I'm just going to rub that right in. I'm not really, I, I'm not thinking too much about what I'm doing because I want it to cover canvas and uh, if I if I do it well or it seems like it, it's a good idea then I will probably you know learn from this experience what I want to do in a more specific way next time so for right now this is just winging it and I definitely have enough paint on there and I have colors that I want to keep in certain areas even though I just gave you that speech <laughs> And it's a big piece of chain, that's for sure. I kind of want to... Um, Alright, so somebody forgot they're not supposed to have telephone conversations while I'm working because it's distracting. Because I'm a eavesdropper. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. That's kind of different and it's interesting. And um, patterny. And there's probably way more paint than I anticipated, but I do use GAC 800 by Golden in my paint mixture to keep my paint from cracking. I also don't use water because it destroys the polymer bond, just in case you need to know that. Don't put water in your paint. You also can't store paint with water mixed in, it in bottles without it destroying the polymer bond also. That silver pretty much disappeared. I could have wiped off my chain, and now I'm going to put most of that in my hand and see if I can do a loop. I wanted to do a wave like this, and I'm not done trying yet. Alright. You can always use the residual paint. Now I'm composing. I'd like to use all of the beautiful color on that chain to 
to paint the edges of this canvas, but I can't let it, I can't get it off of there quick enough to use it and without making you guys wait, so we'll skip that for right now. Although I can pull it toward the edge, and as soon as I get a drip, that's fair game for rubbing it in. All right, I'm thinking maybe it's time to stop talking about it and go ahead. Well, maybe. <laughs> and use the white. And like I said, I want that paint off of that chain. But I probably can't have it. So I'm going to put it over here. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it in that bucket right there. And grab another chain. And let's see what happens. All right, so that gets us some white, basically. I think it would need to be a lot thinner paint in general of a layer to really make an impression. Yeah, I see that over there. My temptation is serious that I want to um, put smaller ball chain in there right now. I'm going to squeeze that down. I like the chain waggles as much as I like the bamboo skewer waggles. Let's see what we got. I kind of want to torch really soon. Because I think we can still release some shells. Some cells, not some shells. But as soon as I torch, I'm going to have gloppy on my surface. So I don't really want to do that quite yet. This could just wind up being a great background for something, if I were interested in doing that. So I can just lay my chain down and pull it lengthwise to make these half little fan shapes for the spirals. I didn't want to get rid of all that green. It's a good thing I got Cat 800 in here, I can tell you what. I wasn't really expecting to do a garden theme. And if I did this with less paint, I think I could add a color or two afterwards that I really like. I'm going to put that in the bucket as well. Way, way too much paint. Okay, lesson learned, I guess. We'll see, actually. Hard to tell. So I could still, I got another paisley. I can still curve stuff, and I can still use residuals. And I can actually go backwards with this. I can left-handed instead of right. I can see a lot of cool stuff. I really wanted to put some white in there, to tell you the truth. I'm eyeballing that white the whole time we're doing this. I'm deciding that I'm going to grab some more and try it with the small chain. There, that kind of worked. I think I might need to just keep using one chain at a time if I want it to, uh, to show up though.
Oh, I like those leaf shapes at the bottom. Like so. Although, <laughs> it looks like I was destroying something really pretty there, too. So I'm going to run out in a minute of chain. And 40 seconds, I'm going to run out of time. So I should tell you, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you guys feel like giving it to me. I would very much appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your contributions in the past. You've kept me painting and you've kept me around with your appreciation. Thank you for all the kind comments you give me. If you'd like to be of assistance, there's a couple ways to do that. One of them is to shop my Amazon link, which is right below Show More on the video. I'm just going to keep dipping weight, get, dipping little ball chain and seeing what I can get out of it. And uh, compose a little too, trying not to ruin everything. So I love you guys, and there's two minutes left before I run out of a lot of time. So I should tell you, if you're looking for a Facebook group, you can try Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for students. You can try Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors if you're interested in maybe someday purchasing a piece of my artwork. You may go shopping if you want on Totes and Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More. Yeah, I'm learning new stuff as I play with the chain pulls, for sure, all the time. It's another Paisley, oh well. You can control your chain, you don't have to just pull it indiscriminately. I will be cleaning all my chain in a moment. I love you guys, there's over 80,000 of you, and um, check the end screens for a link to my channel where you can find the, uh, the exhibition video that shows you what this month's drawing winner gets and or and or what? <laughs> Brain cramp! Um, I should do this with my other hand because I keep doing them all in the same direction and I want to change it up. Okay, maybe the other hand isn't the best idea I ever had. Or maybe it is. So that's kind of cool, and I can still take a loop of this, and I can still torch, and I will torch. All oh, that chain's going in the bucket, because my hands are covered. Should have saved some of that paint to cover the edges. All right, so I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, saying if you're looking to have your questions answered, just ask. If you're looking for the paint pouring recipe, look under the video. If you're looking for my Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter links, they're underneath the description on the video, under the video as well. If you're looking for Christmas presents, I can help you with that, because I have Teespring underneath the video, and that's uh, where I put my leggings and my all-over print t-shirts, and there's pillows and other stuff there. I think I want to do what I wanted to do the last time. This is really similar to another piece I just realized. But what I like is to add the occasional spiral. Kind of reminds me of a kid. We had lilies of the valley in Upper New York State. I like the little spirals. But you knew that about me. So that's pretty neat. I like it a lot. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for the wonderful compliments you give me all the time. Thank you for the contributions in the past that keep me here and painting. I love you guys so much. Thank you. I'll see you anon. Check the end screens for over 900 videos. There are nine lists of 100 and also genres subjects like swipes etc and you can find all of that on my channel if you search so I'm gonna call that pretty good and try and do something